So this is how we repair a door that has been totally shredded by residents' nails and delamination. First off, pull all the hardware off the door, then strip all the loose veneer that you can peel off. Any loose veneer will have to come off, and then you fill all the gaps and cracks with a proper wood filler. I used wood filler and plaster of Paris. Then once all the filler has set, take your belt sander with 80 grit sandpaper and sand the door flush. Remember to keep the belt sander in constant motion. Do not let it set in one spot. This will knock all the high spots off of your patchwork and any damage that was on the door. If you notice several spots where previous patches were done, and if you notice all the pinholes from push pins, by using the belt sander, you can knock all those high spots off and level out everything. And then the laminate that we are going to put on there will make it look nice and smooth. Once you have sanded the door down smooth, take a rag, wet it with an acetone cleaner, and wipe the door free of all dust and debris. And make sure that there is no dust left on it. You will spread the contact adhesive on this door allow that to set for a little while. While you're doing that, you put contact adhesive on the back side of the laminate. You will need a lot of room to be able to spread out a full sheet without cracking it or splitting it and allowing it to air dry. Remember, contact adhesive has to set for 15 to 20 minutes and air out before you can stick it together. Here is a sheet of laminate that we are going to use. Bottom side up. Here's what it looks like on the front side. A nice round copper color. On this, you also want to make sure you run the white rag across it. And make sure that it is dust free and lint free. Any particles of dust will show through on the final product. Make sure that the acetone is completely dry and evaporated before you apply the contact. Okay, here we are. We're going to ready, get ready to pour the contact adhesive and we're going to roll it out just like paint. Remember, you want to keep this as dust free as possible. So make sure your roller and everything else is dust free. And we want to roll it on nice and thick. Make sure you get good coverage, especially around the edges. So there's the door, 100% covered, a nice even coverage. Take the time now to make sure that no little things have popped up. While that's still wet, you can still get them off. We're going to roll the laminate the same way. You get a good even coverage on the laminate. At this point, the laminate is about ready to place. As you can see, I can put my hand on there, and it's just slightly tacky. There are still some wet areas that still need to evaporate a little bit more. As we come check on the door, same thing. It's slightly tacky, ready to be laid on. Okay, There are still some spots, a little straight there, it's still a little wet, but that would be okay. 
case in point, they'll make sure you have plenty of ventilation, plenty of windows and doors open. This stuff is very volatile. Now you got knowledge. <laughs> so, how, but, do, but do I got consent? Well, you know. <laughs> when the finished product comes, right. right, we'll, we'll see what happens. Careful pushing on the edge, though. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure it gets. You know, because that edge is kind of uneven right there. It's just going to be a sticking. File it down and maybe shove some in there if there's a little gap. I have to, I think. We'll get a little work See around that. those edges. Right there. I think it'll be all right. I think I can route it right out. Gotta be careful. Yeah. There 
we go. That's why I have a problem using this thinner, thinner product. That's so strong, it's you know, brittle. But then they have this color and the thicker. I didn't ask what he handed me because I told him what I was doing. He said, well, this would be probably what you want to use. And I was afraid of, again, of distancing that door jam. What I'm, going to, what I'm going to do now is use a file and a downward motion just to break the edge of the door and to get it flush with the bottom of the door. You always push towards whatever you've glued to, countertop, in this case a door. Because if you back pull, it'll pull the laminate and chip it. So you push forward. So here's the finished edge. See, it doesn't pull up. Nice and smooth, it's not sharp. It doesn't pull up. Corners are good and tight. I used a belt sander to break the edge. There was too much on there to be with the file. The trick with the belt sander is keeping the angle right and keeping it moving. Don't let it set in one spot. The trick with the router is to always go counterclockwise. That way you're cutting into the blade instead of the blade pulling you away from it. All I did here was knock a hole for the doorknob, stuck my cutter through the hole, and uh, cut it out. Well, there you go. That pretty much concludes how to do this. I will reassemble the door and rehang the door, and it will be as good as new. All I need to do is put the eye hole in, and I can drill that from the back side. So here's the finished product. Nice and clean. Door knob installed. Peep sight installed. Looks a lot better than it did before.